Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Taterbuggin and I'm in the kitchen all by myself today. <laughs> Mr. Taterbuggin is next door um, working on your uh, tear trays and uh, I've got my laptop over here so I can get it set up so I can see your comments and when you come on, um, let me go on and do this one right here. And it'll be pinned right to the top. And then we'll get started. Hey, Regina. Now, why does it tell me my, excuse me, it says my battery's running low on the laptop and it's plugged in. Why is it doing this to me when I'm all by myself? Oh, well, y'all, this is the way it goes. This is the way it goes. I don't, I don't have you. <laughs> Um, thinking, thinking, thinking how to charge this up. Oh my goodness. Well, I've never had that problem before. Lights are out, everything. Bear with me. Let me try another plug. Oh gosh. What on earth? I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay, let me try another plug. Ooh, they're making me sweat today. I have all these things for you. It's gonna be a good day, I promise. I promise, I promise. Listen to my voice. <laughs> While everybody's coming in and I'm having technical difficulties. Okay, let's try that. I think it's gonna work. Cross your fingers for me. Oh my goodness. Let me turn our light back on. And we're gonna make a apple cinnamon white cake. There we go. We have power. I'm gonna take a deep breath. <laughs> I've got everything out here ready. Just gotta get ready on here and get y'all back up here so I can see my friends. There y'all are. Thank you for bearing with me. Oh my goodness. Now let's see. Let me go right back up here. Pin that and there we have it. So what we're doing today, whoo, that'll keep your heart rate going. What we're doing today is this, um, I've never made it before, but it sounds good. It sounds very fallish. My stepdad loves any kind of apple dessert. So it's an apple cinnamon white cake. Easy, easy. So I'm going to get started on that. Hey, everybody, y'all come on in. Oh, thank you, Regina. Yeah. <sighs> didn't anticipate that. I don't know what's wrong with that plug down there, but we'll deal with that when we have to go in there and I'll have to move y'all all back over there and we can just hope it'll all work out. Cause I have something, I'm just spraying this with Baker's Joy. It's a loaf pan. It's gonna make one loaf and I love Baker's Joy. Okay, we've got that ready. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Get this out of the way. And get my towel. Okay, so we're gonna mix brown sugar. I have got a half a cup of brown, is it a half? No, it's a third cup of brown sugar and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm just gonna mix those together a little bit. Get a, get a fork. So how are y'all doing today? I'm still breathing. <laughs> um, it, yeah, it's. I thought I was going to take the day off yesterday, and I sort of did, but then there was something I really wanted to do uh, for y'all that I could do while I, while I was supposedly resting, and I can't wait to show it to you. We'll do that after we cook, because this only has to bake for, what is it, 30 to 40 minutes, so that'll give us time to paint our simple nativity. Um, for everybody who couldn't make it to the live class here at, um, in Bartlett last Saturday, Lee did show them how to make a shim tree, which y'all know, you've seen her video. This is Lee from the Turquoise Valentine. And then I did a simple nativity painting with them on the inside. So I wanted to show y'all that because not everybody could be here. Y'all live all over the country, so... Um, that's what we're going to do today, and it doesn't take long at all, and you'll be amazed how easy it is to paint. 
Okay, so I've mixed that up. Oh, Monica's still healing from foot surgery. Susan's cleaning up her craft room. Y'all are busy, busy. So, like I said, third a cup of brown sugar, one te teaspoon of cinnamon. We've got that in this little bowl. Now, we're gonna take our white sugar. I have got two thirds cup of white sugar. I'm gonna dump that in here. And then I've got, where's my butter? Softened my half a cup of butter right here. Hey, Rhonda. Y'all, thank you for, for letting your friends know I'm on. Hopefully, y'all got your, everybody that wanted it got your text message. Hope so. We're just going to cream this butter and sugar together. All right. With the mixer. Get that on there. Get that down in there. All right. Here we go. Get that going slow at first so it doesn't go everywhere. Oh yeah, I will post the recipe. I'll, yes, absolutely. I'm gonna do that. I just wanna see if there's anything I'm missing. All right. Oh, that's doing good. Let's go up a notch. You gonna get that smooth and creamy? All right. And once that's smooth and creamy, I've got two eggs. I'm going to put in one at a time. Oh, thank you so much. Who said that? Was that Monica? Thank you for saying that. You're sweet. Penny, I am making an apple cinnamon white cake. And it looks so easy. That I thought it might be a good one for y'all to have. Maybe Thanksgiving morning? I don't know. We're, we're going to try it. Hey, Tony. Hey, Glenda. Y'all come on in. Oh, back pain is terrible. Yes, Billy, I'm so sorry. Warmer weather. Uh, Tanya, we're having warmer weather here too. We've got our big doors open in the den. All the, the French doors are open. It's warm. And this time of year in Memphis, when it starts to feel like this, you know, in a couple of days, you're gonna get slammed with the front and it's gonna plummet at least 20 degrees and sure enough that's what we're headed for i think on thursday so it starts to you know it really starts to mess with how you feel that big drop hey leanne hi ellen oh beth i love to bake this time of year okay let me go up one more notch and make sure this is good and creamy it's looking good And let's just turn it down a little, and I'm going to add these two eggs one at a time. Let that go in there, maybe one more. fashion he's got to fuss at somebody no matter where I am every time I'm live. Egg number two. Right, hands off. It's cold in West Virginia. That's the truth. It's going to change. Just wait. Hey Donna. And <laughs> Lori said hey Sarge. Yes. He just wants y'all to know he's here. All right, after we do this step, we're gonna add our vanilla, and like I said, I'm gonna post this recipe afterwards, but it's a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And I am a measurer, I'm not a fancy cook, like Mr. Tater Buggin. All right, we got that out of the way. That's looking good. And I think what I'm gonna do is scrape down the sides real quick and on the beater. Make sure we get all the goodness mixed up. Put that on down in there. And it's so, you know, I need a, an assistant reading my comments to me when I'm cooking. <laughs> like I do for Mr. Taterbuggin. <laughs> 
Because I like to visit with y'all, but I'll get to visit when I go over there to the table and we're painting and uh, talking. I don't know. From some of the comments I've gotten, some people don't want me talking. I told you about that, but that's another story. All right. Oh, thank you, Regina. <laughs> Betty, um, I am making a apple cinnamon white cake. It looks so simple and easy. It's the first time I've made it. And uh, it sounded like it would be something really good with coffee on Thanksgiving morning. So I thought that might be fun for y'all to try. Oh, we got over 200 already. Thank you, Carrie. See, y'all are my people. I like to talk to y'all. So can I see over here? Yeah, Cindy's telling you what we're making. Oh, thank y'all. Everybody says keep talking. Well, I know. I know, just every now and then one will come along watching on replay, and I had another one early today, and ooh, she even had to announce her departure because I talked too long, and I did, I know that, but I was visiting with y'all, so that's what I like to do. Okay, so we've gotten step three out of the way, we're going to combine the flour, that's going to be, I've got one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, and I have uh, one and three fourths teaspoons of baking powder. Put that in there and just combine that a little bit right in there before we add it to our um, butter mixture over here. All right. And it says stir into the cream mixture. No, okay. I'm gonna just do it slowly. Let's do it slowly. All right, let me get right over here so it doesn't go crazy on me. There we go. And we'll let that do its thing. And then, I'm just stirring this in together a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to add the milk. I have half a cup of whole milk. Adding that in there. All right, and then this. See, the only thing about having those doors open is the fly and critters get in every now and then. Oh, that looks good. That's pretty. Okay, now, here we go. Got my loaf pan, we're gonna assemble it now. Get all this off the beater. I don't wanna miss out on any of this pretty batter. I hate to be with my back to y'all. Hard to know exactly how to set up. Mr. Tater Buggin makes it look easy, doesn't he? Okay. There we go. I sure hope y'all are having a good Tuesday. Mine's been okay. My sweet husband, um, since I was having to work earlier, he, um, took my parents to their eye doctor appointment for me. Got them all fixed up. If that's a mosquito getting after me. Okay, I'm just gonna scrape the sides of our batter, make sure it's all in the, oh, look. Look at that pretty batter. That looks good. And we're gonna put half of this batter. Let me make sure I'm, I don't, I'm not missing anything here. Yeah, we're pouring half the batter into our pan. Get, the, get everything out of the way that we don't need yet, or don't need any more. And let me cover the bottom of this pan with the batter. If any, have any of y'all made a cake, anything like this before? Does this sound familiar? I think I might have done one similar, but I know it wasn't this exact recipe. I love these quick breads in the fall and winter. 
especially with coffee. I'm trying not, you know, I rarely eat breakfast. I try not to do that. Carrie, don't listen. I'm not telling you. <laughs> yeah, that's visiting with everybody. And that's what, that's the best part. That's what I love to do. So we've got half of our batter in here. And then it says to lightly pat, you pour, okay, half the batter, half the apples. I'm just gonna sprinkle these apples in like this. Okay. And we're just gonna pat those down into, kind of smish them down into the batter. I think smish is a, a baking term that I learned on the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pour half of the uh, brown sugar cinnamon mixture on top of this. Oh, you know, this has to be good. How could it not be, right? Oh, Judy, you're sweet. Did I cover all my uh, cowlicks in the back? Y'all let me know. I got some crazy ones back there. Okay. So, we've got our layer of batter. We've got our layer of apples, and we sprinkled the brown sugar and cinnamon on it. Now we're going to put the second half of the batter on top of this. I know what my mom and stepdad are having with their coffee in the morning. And I haven't even told them yet. It's going to be a surprise. This might even be one of those, um, if you've been invited to somebody's house for Thanksgiving, this might be a a good one to take just as like a, a hostess gift. They don't even have to share it on Thanksgiving. They can just have it the next morning after Thanksgiving and put their feet up and have it with a cup of coffee. I'll have to take some pictures of this too for y'all when it's all finished and cut. Okay, there's the other half of that. Let's add the I swear if that mosquito got in here and got me, somebody's gonna fuss at me for scratching too. Other half of the apples. That's just one Granny Smith apple. That's all it called for. Well, it said one apple and I, I choose to bake with Granny Smith, so. Okay, we're gonna just pat those apples right down into that batter. That. Sprinkle this on top. Oh, Tanya, isn't it? You know, we just start to get um, chilly, and I thought there's no way I can wear a long sleeve and, and cook today. It's just too warm. So I found my Belle Lily Thanksgiving t shirt, and I'm good to go. All right, let me wipe that off there, make it look better. Let me rinse. And I'll show it to you. Okay. There's what it looks like. You think I'm be good? Okay, we're going to pop this in the oven. It's 350. Mm, swirl the brown sugar mixture through apples using fingers. That's, that's good. I think that's good. Okay, we're gonna bake it 30 to 40 minutes. I'll check it in about 32. Let's do that, because I know my oven. Let me set my timer. Okay, we are set. Now, now this is the fun part. I get to move y'all over there where we're gonna paint, and I'm putting you on a different um, holder, so. Let's see if I can pull this off, y'all. Fingers crossed, no more technical difficulties, and I don't call 911 like Mr. Taterbuggin did that time. <laughs> Let's see, where am I sitting? I'm gonna sit right over here, and I'm gonna get y'all all fixed up. I'm trying to, I needed to put, now let me move my laptop. 
ever so carefully over where I can see you. I know it's crooked. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. This is a one-woman operation here today. Ooh-wee. Let me scooch that over. We've got that. And then I'm going to get to sit down with y'all. Let's put this over here. Y'all are, y'all are the best for putting up with things like this when I get a wild hair um, to do baking and cooking. Where are y'all? Where, where are we? I promise I'm gonna settle. <laughs> the drunk cooking show, huh? Now, you can see all my Thanksgiving that Moid will put up behind me. Tilt you down. How about that? <laughs> and that mosquito got me. Would you look at that? It's what I get. Okay, so I've got my canvas. I've, I think I've got everything I need over here. I had to move from out there in here. Oh, thank you, Carrie. I feel like this is kind of a hot mess day, but you know what? When you do it, you're doing it by yourself. You just got to do it the best you can. Before I start painting, I, want, I have something I want to show y'all. What I worked on yesterday. And I had promised it. And I really, really wanted it available to y'all before the holidays. And I can't believe it happened. But instead of coming up with a cookbook per se, here's what we're doing. I have a PDF file uploaded in um, the online shop. It's all, 30, well, it's 32 pages plus a cover page plus a little note from us in the front. Um, every recipe that we've done live for y'all is in here. So you'll get the cover page, a note, and 32 recipe pages that I've kind of you know, I'll try to make cute for you a little bit. <laughs> um, in our shop, as soon as I get off of here, it's going live. And what you can do is it's just a digital download. You get to download that one file. You can just save it on your computer and refer to it on your computer. Or you can do like I did and print it out and put it in your own notebook. Because I think like every 10 to 15 recipes, I'm going to add another file for you to add to this notebook every time. Um, and now I can keep it steady. It, I share the recipes with you right after every live. They're always up there, and that's your prerogative. If you've been printing those out every time, you've got it going on. Um, but for those who had missed some of them or they're having trouble uh, finding them again, which... It's hard, and I have searched for a way to share files like that on my page, and there's just not one. So this is the next option, and um, I didn't know what I was biting off when I started this, and it's been like this big scary thing because I had to learn it all, how to do it as I went, and so I just took yesterday, sun up to sundown, and I was determined to get this ready for y'all, and. I just barely made it before Thanksgiving. So, if you are interested in this, it will be in our online shop. As soon as I get off of here, all I have to do is hit one button and it's there for you. So, cooking with Mr. Taterbug and cookbook and I even added anything I had shared with y'all. My um, spicy chicken noodle soup is in there, our butter brickle bread, it's all in there. So, oh, Tammy, I, it's, um, the, this first set is going to be $10. It's just the initial set, and from then on out, it will be very, very nominal. Um, it just, it, it's pretty time-consuming to, um, to retype it all and put it in a format that's printable for y'all and more pleasing. It's a little more fun. There's some graphics, you know, and things like that in it. So, but again... I still will post them every time, you know, we do one like today. I'll, I'll post this recipe that I did today, hopefully tonight at the latest tomorrow. 
So you can just print them out like that, absolutely. And it's just going back and, you know, we didn't know this was gonna be a regular thing in the beginning. So um, going back, so let's say his first recipe was the Stromboli recipe. So to go back and dig through that might be a challenge. It is for me. And so they'll all be in one place for you if you want that convenience. It is absolutely not necessary. You'll still get them for free every time we cook them. So that, it's totally up to you. Oh, Be <laughs> Becky, you're so sweet. Terry, thank you for those stars. Lynn, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Let me grab my water. It is, it is warm in here. You know, we've had the heat on and now I've got the doors open. It's still warm outside, so. I'm so, I really apologize for scratching. I do it without realizing I'm really allergic to them. And this was just a tiny little mosquito bite. It got me before I could do it. And they, they find me no matter where I am. So I apologize. They just took my sister. Oh goodness. I may have to turn this light off y'all. Let me see if that's drawing on my battery too much. Can y'all still, that's okay. Y'all don't need to see see me all bright. Uh, for some reason, I guess my battery's um, running down. I'm, I'm hoping that'll work. I missed what happened to her sister. I'm gonna have to go back. Okay, that was Janice. Okay. I, all I can get is the little snippet of what happened. I know, Sue, it's terrible. Yes, I do have some Benadryl. Actually, I have a little bit better. I have a prescription triple antibiotic cream that I had to get for an allergic reaction I had before. So when something, when it gets me real bad like that, I'll just go in there and put some of that on it. It'll take care of it. So here is the shim tree and nativity that we did Saturday at Southern Vintage. So if you want to do one like this, um, you can, of course, you know, go by Lee's instructions, how she did the shim tree, but in case you want to just paint this little nativity in the middle, or if you want to get a canvas or a piece of wood, you know I love painting on wood, and this, this little nativity would be beautiful on wood. Um, but since I'll probably, this will probably be available for sale either, you know, Lately, it's been that somebody messages me after I've been live and asks if it's available, and it, it usually is, always. And so, I wanted to do it. These have been discontinued. These were one of my favorite canvases Hobby Lobby ever carried, and they're um, burlap. They're harder to paint on, but they look so pretty. I loved doing pet portraits on these because whatever you put on them, it's like it just pops. But I only have two or three left in my stash since they discontinued them. And I want to do this sweet baby Jesus on this one for y'all. Now he's here. I have had a lot of technical difficulties. I've been doing this by myself and it's not easy. <laughs> I think I almost cried once. Really? What happened? <laughs> as soon as I got on, my battery went down on... Oh, thank you, Cindy. I'll find it. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll find it. Yes, they discontinued them. And I got bit by a mosquito. Let me, let me find it, y'all. I'm looking. Don't you worry about, you know, I, a lot of people can't send stars anymore, and I, I understand. You don't have to apologize for that. You can't send stars? Some people can't, yeah, some people can't. They don't have their hearts. What? Uh-huh, you never know. It just, I can't find it, y'all. Did it, did it go away? Uh... Sue wants me to go on and get my cream on it before it gets any worse. I'm not leaving y'all again, Sue. I'm just not. Why? <laughs> he has this thing that I he just thought maybe you want to show. Oh well, they're from all over the country. They don't care about Memphis. Yeah, that's awesome. He he stretched a canvas for a customer. Um, so, oh oh, I, okay, got it, got it. I'm on it. There it is. 
making more work for me. I tell you what, get on out of here. Taken care of. Let's get busy painting, y'all. I am going to, this is just my Americana, pure white. I'm gonna pour out a little bit of this over onto my palette and hopefully not spill it on my dining room table. I've got it covered though with the PP pad. It was so warm in here, babe. I just opened those doors and he went, y'all, he's saving the day. He went and got me my medicine. There we go. I'll put a little bit of this on here since I'm not cooking anymore. Yeah, the bread is in the oven. You want to come say hey? You've got to come say hey. He's He thinks he's dirty. He's been building y'all's ladder trays. I've been working on the tear trays. Hey, everybody. We're working up in the, uh, up in the wood shop trying to get some more tear trays made for y'all. <laughs> and they're Sarge. And they're Sarge. <laughs> he, um, for those that don't know, thank you, Rita. His workshop is the second... <laughs> <laughs> Don't get in the paint, you down. silly goose. Get down, you crazy. <laughs> it's a nut house here today. I'm out. <laughs> That's okay. Now his workshop is in the upstairs of my stepfather's huge garage. The, I swear his garage is bigger than our house. Um, yeah, everybody say hey to you. Tell him I said hello. I'm yeah. Trying to get all this confusion out of here. That's okay. That's okay. We, they, uh, today has been one big ball of confusion, and that's all right. Yeah, he's a working man. He's supposed to have some sawdust. It's man glitter, right? That's what that is, man glitter. Okay, so this is an 8 by 10 to give you an idea. So all I do at the beginning is I just, I don't, I'm not going to measure or anything like that. You want a tear tray? Who said that? And screen door, Monica. Yes, yes. Thank you, Penny, for the stars. He is making those um, tiered trays as fast as he can. That's a that's a design he came up with. That's his own. Figured out how to um, assemble it, get it to y'all, um, you know, unfinished. So you can do it. You can paint it. You can stain it. You can do a combination of either. And uh, they take a little time for him to, to do. It's just him building them. And so he tries to get as many done as he can for y'all every week. Our goal is to upload however many we can once a week, as long as y'all want them. And uh, he will be, he's not going to be hunting Thanksgiving weekend. So he'll be here working on tiered trays for y'all. So I'm, I know, well, you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to hold it up. I've got my water over here. I'm going to hold it up when I finish this part. But you see, um, this burlap canvas, you've got to really, it takes a lot of paint um, to cover it. But, oh, the end result is just beautiful, I think. I wish I have looked everywhere. I searched high and low for more burlap canvases and I haven't found them. If anybody finds them, please let me know. It, it is Jennifer. So we've just got, and you might say, you know, oh, my oval looks wonky. Um, we're gonna paint over it and all this is gonna end up looking like is sort of a background, a glow. So while that's still wet, I'm gonna take what did I pull out? Spa Blue. This is an Americana color. I just think it's a pretty soft blue. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Take a little bit of this. Lynn, they used to have them at Hobby Lobby, but you know, they must have been discontinued two years ago because I was still doing pet portraits and I always offered them on this burlap canvas because I just thought the dogs just really popped so pretty on this background. And um, I noticed they, they weren't adding any more. And then I asked somebody about it and they said, yeah, they were 
discontinuing them. So I frantically hopped online trying to find them. And I, I haven't had any luck. So I bought up everything I could that Hobby Lobby had when I found that out, what little they had left. And I think this is, I think I only have two more after this one. So I just went into the white and added some of the spa blue around the, around the edge of the white. And now I am going, and I didn't rinse this. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of, I believe it's called King's Gold. It's my favorite gold. Pure gold, I'm very sorry. Folk art, I've had this forever. You can get them on Amazon? Oh my goodness, you could do that. In fact, I think I tried that, Jean, adhering um, some burlap to, this burlap is really tightly woven. Uh, you know, you gotta find that good, I just loved these. And I would get them half off. It, they were just so wonderful, but you know. Um, I need to go back then and look on Amazon and see what theirs look like because like I said, it was a couple years ago when I was frantically looking for them. And I did not, I couldn't find them even on Amazon. Well, I'm gonna go look. Oh, it says they're unavailable on Amazon? Lynn, if your Hobby Lobby has these, I need to speak with you because I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some for my stash because I love these. Okay, got a little bit of gold. I still haven't rinsed my brush and I'm just gonna add little bits of gold around the edges of the oval, you know, into the blue a little bit, into the white a little bit. And I'm just using the, this top part of my brush. This is one of those five below brushes. I just want a hint of that gold coming out. Might do some around the edge here. If y'all are in my Christmas snowman painting class. We're doing it live tomorrow, so get your um, get your surface painted black today. I have to do that after I get off of here. Oh, Marianne, thank you. So can y'all see, it's just subtle, subtle gold in there. And I think I need, I think it's a little, wonky there, but like I said, it's, it's not going to really show. Okay, so we just kind of have a glow in this bottom part of our canvas. Um, Audrey, I don't. I took a year off from pet portraits, especially this time of year. Um, my, all I did, all I used to do was custom orders. Um, I rarely got the time because they were I had so many of those. I rarely had time to paint what I wanted to paint and just, you know, paint for my different locations that carry my work. And the holidays, I didn't have any time for anything else because I was trying to make that Christmas deadline. So I promised myself I would give myself this holiday season off. And, and I have so far. And um, it's a lot less stressful because I... I took pet portraits. I mean, you've got to take them seriously. I sure will, Terry. Yes, I'll be glad to post all of these colors for you when, when I'm done here. So, when I'm painting somebody's sweet baby, I just, and a lot of times it would be because they had lost them. And, um, I would just, it was very stressful. I really needed to get it right. I needed their eyes right because I think that's the window to the soul and um, it just stressed me it was really stressful I, it was all put on myself but um, and two you know there it's somebody's Christmas gift that they're getting and they're so I haven't decided if or when I'm gonna go back to them or not haven't found the nativity scenes um, Sonia, I may, I may 
sometimes I think I really miss it, you know? So what I might do is, um, now that I have an online shop, put maybe five up in the shop available to the first five people that order. And then when those are done, you know, if I feel, whenever I feel like doing some more, maybe. I don't know, I'm trying to work that all out in my head, but it won't be this year. I'm sorry. Um, one of our sweet tater bugs, though, does pet portraits, Tanya Mansfield, and she does beautiful work. And I have asked her if I can refer people to her who come to me asking for them. Um, and she said I could, so be sure to look her up if that's something you want. Portraits are very hard, and I did uh, pet portraits and home portraits, too. So, okay, now we're going to do just a simple, simple manger here. I've just got a little filbert brush, and I'm taking the end, not laying it down, but taking the end, and I've got Espresso by Craftsmark. Pick any brown. Any brown will do. We're going to go right about... You don't have to be precise. This is all eyeballing it. We're just doing a line right across here. And I learned from class um, Saturday that when I try to hold it up and do it this way, I end up going up or down or something. It's crooked, so I'm not going to do that to y'all today. I'm going to paint it here. I mean, it's just that simple. I'll probably go back over that a little bit more. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yes, Hummingbird Paintery. I forget she's got a business uh, page now, so yeah. Working retail, is it hard to join the painting group? It's always available. We still have people join in last November's gnome class because it's all still up there you can in fact I suggest that you don't paint with me live you don't even have to watch it live um, you go in and do it at your own speed so you don't feel that pressure to keep up and um, that's what I do with online classes myself I watch it through one time completely first and then I go back when I can pause it and rewind it or fast forward. Oh, I remember this part. I can fast forward here and all that. Okay, so now, so simple. Right in the middle, we're gonna just do an X. And I'm gonna hold it up and show it to you. When I said this was easy, I, I meant it was easy. Just like that, so simple. And I'm probably gonna, like I said, when as that dries, I might darken that up some. Oh yeah, we got a cake in the oven and we're painting a nativity and we showed Mr. Traderbug his new cookbook that's going in the shop tonight. <laughs> it's been a busy day. Uh, it is a burlap canvas that my Hobby Lobby has discontinued. I haven't seen them in there and don't think I don't look every time I go in there just in hope that it might, they might start carrying them again. Oh, hey Dolly, thank you, you're so sweet. Y'all are, y'all are good to me. So I love hanging out with you. Antique gold, it's just a deep yellow. Let's get a little bit of that. This is another Americana color. And I like doing this part. I think I'll just use a little, you know, kind of a, a fat detail brush here. Now watch how easy this is. I'm just gonna dip into this. What's expensive and came from China? Hey, Judy, there is Judy from the Crafty House. I haven't seen you in a minute. All right, we're gonna do the hay. So we're just gonna start flicking that paintbrush. I like to bring it over, kind of curve it over, over the edges at the ends. I mean, this is simple, simple. And it just looks like hay that's fallen over the edge of the manger. And you can just kind of do X's in the middle, you know? You just kind of flick that paintbrush in every which way, and it's gonna pick up a little of that brown. But that's okay, that's gonna give it dimension and depth. 
What size is it? Oh goodness, I'm missing too much. The brush, this is one of my AIEX that's in my Amazon shop. This is the number two. This is my favorite lettering brush. Uh, I love this set of brushes. I'm on my second set. Hey, Frida. I do too, Cindy. It's, it just makes whatever you paint on it just pop. It's a perfect background. That's why I say, when I said I was devastated when they quit carrying them, I'm in it. I could paint a donkey on one of these, and boy, it just popped right out. I loved it. I love painting donkeys. Oh, all animals. That's what I started out with, was silly animal paintings. And if you want to, let me show you what you can do. If you want to get all extra, you can, you know, you can stop with the hay right here. And that's plenty. But if you want to give it even more dimension, go with just any lighter shade of yellow. Just go up a shade or two. This is Sunny Day, Apple Barrel. I'm just going to get a little bit of this. Look at here. Kathy found... Oh, are they very expensive there at Dick Blick? Yes, Bonnie, it's on my Amazon. If you go to Our Favorite Things, it's in the link at the top of the Tater Bugging page where you'll find all our links. You click that main link and you'll get a whole list. Oh, look at all those hearts, Minnie. How are you doing today? I have not, have I done, uh, I did a kind of a cartoon donkey with sunglasses live. It's on YouTube, it's here too, but it was during, um, you know, it was during 2020. That was one of my first ones. But I did, you know, like pet donkeys and uh, I think I did a, a big, I found him on the internet. It's a photo of this gray and black donkey and they had put big glasses on him. So I, yeah, I did one of him and I used to love to just comb the internet for funny real animal photos and then I would paint them. Hey Maureen. $12.99 to $29.99. Okay, that's not bad. I, I was, you know, I was kind of um, spoiled with Hobby Lobby because like this one was $7.99. It's an eight by 10, but I would wait and catch them half off, you know, when they were on sale. This is so easy, Sonia. This is so easy. I'm gonna hold this up now that I added a little bit of the light yellow in there. And like I said, you don't have to do that. It just gives it a little more depth. So that's what we have now. Let's go back into the white. And all I'm gonna do here is just put, I'm just kind of tapping a thick layer of white here that's gonna end up it may not show on this burlap, I don't know. But if you're doing it on, on um, wood or that music, uh, you know, print you out some music paper, like um, this was actual sheet music, vintage sheet music that I had. But, um, you know, it's gonna show up there. If you look closely, you'll see that white layer above the hay. That's what I'm painting now. Uh, yeah, Deb, just uh, just message me. That's That's been happening lately, and somebody will message me and ask if it's for sale, and, you know, what I paint live usually just goes into my booth or to one of my locations to sell. So if, you know, y'all get first dibs. So if you want to message me, if you if message me and be sure to give me your shipping address and your email address and we can calculate your shipping right away. I'll just turn that over to Mr. Taterbuggin. All right, you can kind of see that it's like, it's gonna look like a little blanket. Okay, now got out my warm beige. You choose any color you want. Let me try to call, let me get that off my screen. Oh, do you like it, Judy? Um, Lee and I taught this at Southern Vintage Company here in Bartlett. 
this Saturday, Lee taught them how to put together their shim tree. We, they could either stain it like I did this one or paint it. I had different colors that they could paint it. And you know, there, so there were all kinds. I still need to post those pictures. They did a beautiful job. And um, so Lee did the first half of the class and then I came in and, and showed them how to paint this nativity. So since all y'all couldn't be there, for obvious reasons, you're all over the country, I wanted you to be able to paint this, make the shim tree and, and paint this yourself if you wanted to. So, that's what we're doing. Oh, have you, Nana? You've been busy. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun, yes. Oh. Wait, let me see who, I missed a big one. Oh, oh, Dolly, you're so sweet. Thank you for that. That's so, thank you. Y'all are just amazing to me. I don't know why, but I, I just appreciate it and I love y'all so much. So we're gonna make it look like Jesus is laying in that sweet manger in that blanket, just showing the top of his head, but everybody's gonna know what that signifies. And our cake is, let me go check our cake. It smells good in here. All right, here I go. I'll talk to you as I go over there because nobody's in here to fill in for me. So let's see what this cake looks like. And I've got to poke it in the middle and see if it's done. No, it's not, I can tell. It's jiggly in the middle. Oh, golly, that smells good. Let's do it, uh, let's go five more minutes. I want I don't want it to burn. Okay. Bacon and painting, bacon and painting. Women are good multitaskers, aren't they? All right. Oh, thank you, Christine. Oh, that makes me so happy. Thank you for that. Judy, I would love that. I would be completely flattered. You sure may, anytime, sweet friend, of course. I'm, I'm so anxious to watch y'all make yours this Saturday because y'all have an event coming, don't you? Is that this Saturday? I think it is, the 20th. I can't wait to see them all. So here's what we have. I mean, look at that, y'all. It's broken down into each little step. How easy is that? So now, let's take this little detail brush again, and I'm gonna dip back into that pure gold. And since that's Jesus's head, we're gonna have a halo. It's just gonna be gold right up here, kind of, Emanating, is that a good word for it? There's Luann. Luann couldn't make it. She is here local, and she had to go out of town, but she had purchased the class. So I have your, all your ingredients, Luann. I think they're all, I, I just need to bag them up for you. But this is how you're gonna paint your, the inside of it, if you choose to. You can do the inside of your shim trees however you want to, but. So we've got that. Now, let's get all extra and fancy. What we had in class Saturday that I don't have on mine, but Lee cut out the most beautiful wood stars to put up here. Hey, buddy, <laughs> Sarge. Um, so we don't have that on this painting. So why don't we, you're just the biggest baby. Hey, Debbie. Yes, on the 20th, okay. Yeah, Debbie, catch the replay. We had a little technical difficulties in the beginning, but we made it through. I hyperventilated just a little bit, I think, <laughs> but we made it through. What do I, how do I wanna do? I think, let's do this star. I'm gonna put a, a big gold star up here at the top. Ooh, mm, I'm, I'm changing my mind. Can I show y'all something? Where is it? I think I can run get it. 
Um, do y'all care if I leave and, and try something out? Because I think I have an idea for this. I could either paint the star, because you know, it's just gonna be, you do a long cross, and then an X on the cross, just like that for a big star. But I actually have one of the cutouts. I think I have an extra. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna paint it for y'all because you might not have the, y'all might not have, y'all don't have the wood star. I best not do that. Let's just paint it. It'll be fine. That way I can show you how to paint it. And you can even, if you choose to get the glitter out to add to, um, the top of the star, that would be really pretty too. But I'm gonna kind of play with this and we're gonna make this stand out. And if I paint it, then y'all will know how to paint it. So we've got, and you see how I'm using the tips of the bristles to paint the thinner lines? They don't have to be perfect, it's a star, but right now it's a cross. And now we're just gonna do, hey, Opa, how are you doing? And then we're gonna do, Opa, I'm showing you how to paint it, and girl, I have seen you paint. You would, you can do better than me on this one, I'm telling you, all of you can. Y'all have been really, you've been painting up a storm since we've been doing these paint parties. See how easy that is? But I want it to stand out more. So let's get out this detail brush. Let me, let me see. Now my cat's trying to get up here with me. You go get up in the other chair. I've got, Vicki, painting is my happy place. This is I was a little, you know, with all the issues in there, but boy, I start painting and I just calm right down. That's why I love to do it. I love to paint. Thank you for saying that. Let's check the bread one more time. And I may run get that star just to show you because it was so pretty. How are you doing in there? Are you ready? You sure smell good. Nope, not as jiggly, but... That middle part, mmm, it's pretty jiggly. You know what I'm gonna do? No, I'm not gonna cover it yet. It still needs to go a little bit more. I'm gonna go five more minutes, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna run get that star real fast to show you just so you can see it. worst person to do these lives getting up and <laughs> well Rudy came to entertain you thank you Rudy I needed the help <laughs> come over here you silly <laughs> that's my sweet Rudy ah uh, should have known he'd take my chair when I was gone <laughs> I can't wait to go back and watch that Oh, he's funny. That little head popped up. <laughs> oh, let's see. Nana says, Lindy, when you shadow, how do you choose whether to use dark colors or light? I've seen you use both. That, thank you for that. And I will tell you. I will tell you exactly how I do it. Now, this was the star that Lee cut out. Now, oh my goodness. She brought everybody one of these um, in the class. Look how pretty that would be on a canvas. She's gonna kill me. But, oh, that's pretty. And so everybody in class could just add the little star right here at the top. How gorgeous is that? And they just painted them gold. Oh. Jeannie, I'm surprised he didn't. <laughs> he is like just the sweetest cat you'd ever, ever want to meet. He is so much fun. <laughs> uh, he entertained y'all while I ran back there to get the star. Okay, how I decide how to shade or add um, a drop shadow to lettering or, 
anything like that. I'm gonna do it on this star. I always imagine which direction I want the light to come from. So on this one, I'm gonna imagine the light coming from this side, and then this side's gonna be shadowed. So let's take some black, and I want you to see, okay, here's, here's pre-shading. You could leave it just like that and be just fine, but let me show you what, what it does. Debbie, diamond dust on this star would be amazing. If I had any, that's what I'd do. I've gotta get some diamond dust. I, I told Lee and Elizabeth Saturday, I said, I am gonna order some of that, and I just hadn't done it yet. I've been, been a little busy. All right, so I'm just gonna go down one side where the light wouldn't be hitting it. I could probably do this in brown and it'd be a little more subtle, but we're, we're doing it, it's fine. And this gets tricky when you've got the X because I'm gonna imagine right here. And let's go over here. And let's, hmm, let's do just a little bit maybe out here. I'm gonna do really lightly on that one. So there's one side. Do you see how it stands out more now? So I think on this one what I'll do, since I really want it to, that star to, to stand out. <laughs> he did, didn't he, Beth? <laughs> Lee cut those specifically for our class um, Saturday that we had here local. I was at her house doing the live on Friday, and I mentioned that I thought a... Um, a star, a wood star to put right here at the top would just be perfect. She marched right over to that laser, cut those stars and brought them to everybody in class. And so that star, there were two ladies that couldn't make it. One had to go out of town and one was sick. So since they paid for the class, we've got all of their um, supplies ready to for them to do it. Um, except they weren't there to, to get the painting instruction, so I'm doing it live. Plus for y'all, I wanted y'all to be able to make these. But that's where I got the star. I wonder if, does Hobby Lobby have any like this? I don't know. All right, so on the side that I'm imagining where the light's gonna hit it, I'm just gonna put a little bit of white. Baking. Let me check our bread. If you want your house to smell good, this is a good way to do it. Mercy, that smells good. Oh, and I've got something else to show y'all. Okay, I think we got it. I, mm, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I want to do it anymore. I'm going to show it to y'all. I'm coming over there. Make sure my cat's not getting up in my chair this time. Okay, let me bring this over here to show you. Y'all look at that. Oh my goodness, it looks so pretty. And it smells so good. <sighs> That's my dog coughing, I'm sorry. I sure hope, it's still, look, it's still jiggling a little bit in the middle. I think I gotta put it back in there, but I think I might cover it with some aluminum foil so it doesn't get too brown on the top. Thank you, Penny. Y'all have been very patient with me today, I'm telling you. Yeah, I don't like that jiggle in the middle. Let's go, let me just cover it with aluminum foil a little bit so it doesn't brown too much more because the edges are getting really brown. And just pop it in there. Oh, maybe three more minutes? Yeah, y'all have been extremely patient with me today. This has been a chaotic one, trying to uh, do baking and crafting all on my own. There we go. What I'm gonna do, I'm turning off the oven. I'll put aluminum foil on it. Set the timer because I will forget and let's just see what that does. I just don't wanna cut into it and it be, 
and it be, sir, what am I gonna do with you? You just wanna be in the live? Scooch, scooch over. Come on, there's Ruby. <laughs> oh, my sweet baby. Diamond dust is crushed, really fine glass like glitter, but being glass, it can cut you. You know, I, I saw somebody said that to me last time, and then other people were saying that it won't cut you. Yeah, I hadn't done that yet, Pat. I'm, I'm going to do that, but it just jiggled so much, I knew it wasn't going to be ready. I don't want that. I don't like my jiggle in the middle either, Penny. <laughs> I've got it. Oh, I'm going to keep having it if I keep baking breads like this, too. Oh, but this time of year, I just love that kind of stuff. I have a little bit with coffee every now and then. Not, not a lot. So I'm just imagining, you know, if the light's coming from over here, where it might hit, where you might see it the most. And that's what I'm doing. So do you see how that just kind of makes it pop? Did I get that one? That's not part of that. And let's do, that didn't show up very well right there. There we go. So you see how that just kind of makes it really stand out now. I don't think a painting gets much more simple than this one, but it has a, a nice impact. It's just a simple, pretty nativity, I think. Hey, there's Lindy Milligan. How are you doing today? What if light is coming from above? Sonia, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I never imagined the light coming. I guess if the light was coming from above, you just have to go on the tips. You know, like if say, if we're imagining that for this star, it would just be a little bit on, on the underneath part. That's where you would see a shadow. I had to think that through, but yeah, that's a good question. I just always, when I'm, for instance, if I'm lettering, and I want to make them have a drop shadow on it. I imagine the light usually coming from this direction. So I shade every line that wouldn't be hit by that light. I have to just imagine it in my head. <laughs> Everybody's talking about their jiggle in the middle. Oh, I can't wait to see yours. I, I you know, I want to see y'all try this. And I mean, I painted it on music sheets. Um, this looks so pretty on a little ornament. It really does. So, thank you, Judy. Thanks, Libby and Wanda and Ellen. Y'all are sweet. Thanks, Teresa. So, think about it. I mean, think of all the things that you could paint this on. Like I said, ornaments. Um, a, it's beautiful on a piece of wood. Would make a great Christmas gift. Um, simple, simple. And wait, you gotta remember to sign it. Always sign it. Let me do that real quick and then I'm gonna go check on that bread. I've got one more thing I just wanna show y'all for anybody who wants to hang around. So if you saw my post earlier. And let me recap real quick. Okay, I've got my, it's signed, so it's official. If you missed it earlier, we are gonna have a a, file, a downloadable file, now it's my nose, I'm sorry, available in the online shop. As soon as I get off of here, I'll get that. It's already uploaded. I just have to hit one button. This will have your cover photo, if you want to use it, a note from us, and then 32 recipes. It's all the recipes we've done live so far, and I'll continue to, to add to it for you. Um, every so many, but right now they're so hard to find on Facebook. I still am going to share like tomorrow or tonight. I will share this, uh, bread recipe with you. You can print that out right then and just add to it each time. Or if you want to wait for the, the formal downloads, I'll do them. I, I was thinking maybe every 10, so it doesn't take so long and it will be a very nominal amount. Um, you don't have to print them out. 
save it on your laptop or uh, save it on your computer and you can refer back to it. Let me turn this off, show you one more thing. But I just wanted to recap about our cookbook in case, because some of y'all had said you were interested. So I wanted to have that available to you. Okay, bread's out of the oven and when I, I have to let that set and cool and I will take a picture of it and I will post it with the recipe. But I wanted to show you this. I took a picture of it, but I told you I went to Dollar General today and they kind of knocked my socks off with the candles. I think I'm gonna have to go back and get a couple more. These were only $6 and it's a little cloche. So when the candle's gone, y'all, we can use that to make a little pretty. Isn't that nice? I just love it. Just wanted to show y'all that live. Okay, y'all were very gracious, very sweet to me today and put up with a lot and very patiently, I might say. I will post a picture. Yes, I'll be, post a picture of this painting for sure so that you can refer back to it when you're painting it. Come back to this live and watch on replay and that'll be a great thing. You can uh, fast forward right through the baking part straight to the painting part when you're ready to paint this. Um, so I'll post that, I'll post the recipe. I will post a picture once it's cut with the recipe. And I'll get this in the shop and post about that. I've got a lot to do, y'all, I gotta go. <laughs> y'all go have a great evening. I truly love y'all to pieces. Thanks for today, talk to you later.